Are you still feeling boxed in by your small bedroom? Dive into the following 17 small space ideas to maximize your small bedroom and find new keys to unlocking the potential of your compact space. Uncover new perspectives to utilize your valuable space without sacrificing comfort, making every square inch you have count. As always, from SimpHome, let's begin our series of projects with number 17. Sleep on top and work or chill underneath. All thanks to sturdy pipes and key clamp fittings. No welding. Prepare one and one quarter inch galvanized pipes, length based on your mattress size, and key clamp fittings, all included in the source. Sketch your design or use brads as inspiration, adjusting the size to fit your space. Then connect pipes with key clamps, like adult Legos, using the provided diagrams. Don't forget safety rails and a ladder, single socket T fittings, and secure the base with four flange fittings. 16. A floating bed with tension series. To begin, you need 7 by 2400 millimeter and 1 by 1800 millimeter scaffold boards, 9 turnbuckles, and 20 meters of wire rope. Sketch your dream bed based on your mattress size, then craft the base, securing it with safety rails and a ladder. Build identical arms, connecting them with tensioned wire rope for stability. Join the headboard and surround, add slats, and secure everything with bolts. Finally, add a finishing touch. Sand, stain, and unleash your inner artist with LED lights underneath for an extra wow. You can also download CAD models and drawings for free to guarantee your success. 15. A 20-inch floating corner bed This 20-inch creativity hides rigid support, leaving you weightless and wall-safe. Screw the frame directly into studs every 32 inches for invisible reinforcement. Flip joist hangers to take weight from corners, then hide everything with a single sheet of plywood. Add LED lights for extra magic. While sturdy, to ensure the bed stability, add a hidden center post for pedestal support, another near the wall for weight transfer, and distribute the weight strategically. 14. A DIY Low Floating Bed Project the bed is mounted on the wall using six bolts, each with a capacity of 1,000 kilograms. Four bolts are on top, two are at the bottom, with a max capacity of 4,000 kilograms. To add support, an L-shaped steel structure is used. A diagonal support was added to resolve a side-to-side -side twist issue, resulting in a drop of less than 5 millimeters. 13. Craig Tools Modern Small Working Desk Idea Gather 2x2 and 1x8 lumber, plywood, a pocket hole jig, screws, wood glue, sandpaper, paint, and hardware. Cut lumber following the diagram, attach legs and rails with pocket hole screws, assemble the upper rails and sides to create the top, attach shelf backs and sides, secure shelf assemblies to the base and back rails, and add finishing touches. Remember to pre drill holes, use a right angle drill attachment, and paint or stain your desk. 12. A folding station with drying rack idea. Hey there, quick question. Do you happen to share a laundry space with your bedroom? To make it, you'll need tools like a drill, miter saw, electric sander, and staple gun, among others. You'll also need materials like plywood, dowels, mesh laundry bags, drawer slides, and 1x2x8s. Follow the step by step guide in the source to cut your plywood into five pieces, make the middle and outside legs, and create the countertop. Once everything is assembled, you'll have your laundry room folding station ready for some tests. 11. Two creative DIYs for your collectibles. For the first one, remove the backing wood from an IKEA Billy bookcase, leaving a rectangular frame with one fixed shelf. Attach brackets and mount them to the wall using deep screws. Place shelves and finish edges with caulk if needed. Second idea. Cut the wood at an angle. Screw the back onto the sides. Apply wood glue and use clamps to hold it together. Sand the edges, add a finish, and attach the shelf to the wall using screws. 10. One more for your books, a vertical tower project. To begin, cut dado trenches into a 2x4 board to create the spine. Measure and mark where each shelf will be located and use a chop saw to make the cuts. Cut MDF shelves to size and wedge them into the trenches before pre-drilling and screwing them in place. 
attach the tower base using four screws, and secure the bookshelf to the wall for safety. All in all, with some basic woodworking skills and tools, you can build this bookshelf for about $25 in just an afternoon. 9. Slim Storage, Charging Station, and Hidden Desk All in One To get started, measure the depth of the space, cut the lumber accordingly using a miter saw and a table saw, and paint all pieces before assembling. Attach the back panel and the oak top with one quarter inch overhang on each end, and finish it off with a clear matte polycrylic. Once the project is completed, the console provides ample storage, 16 inches depth, and a hidden and convenient spot to rest your drink or charging station, obviously after you alter the plan for the particular purpose. 8. A DIY Clever Closet Idea with Pine Board Prepare 1 inch by 12 inch by 6 foot pine boards. Remove old wire shelving, if any, and attach the boards directly to wall studs. Install the middle section by ripping a board in half lengthwise and mounting it laterally. Add a 10-foot shelf on top and finish with 3 8 inch diameter dowels for adjustable shelves. Use 2-inch finish nails to mount the shoe rack on the wall, then hang clothes on 1-inch by 5-foot shower curtain rods. 7. A medieval bed in a box for your boxed space. Beyond the plan, the plan requires wood and metals fit for casual and camping necessities. The bed can fit two camping mats and measures 55 inches by 80 inches, which is the size of a full XL mattress. It could be adjusted to a queen size, 60 inches by 80 inches, with some planning, and the bed's pattern is straightforward, making it easy to build and customize to your liking. 6. Float with dovetails and bow ties. Begin by laying out joints and cutting for tails in outside frame pieces. Buck up 14 or 16 footers, finish by hand for a smooth surface, and use 1 8 inch holes as a guide to rebate for a 1 and 1 half inch plywood subbase. Allow space for ventilation for the underside of the mattress. Finally, hang the bed on French cleats, including side tables, and use a half inch by half inch metal bar behind the bow ties to keep the headboard together. 5. A modern alcove. History aside, alcove is ideal for creating a hideaway sleeping space in a small studio apartment. This studio's sleeping alcove is defined by medium density fiberboard cladding, adding personality and maximizing the space. The bed is at one end, the dressing area at the other, creating a well utilized volume offering a private and comfortable sleeping space that doesn't sacrifice style or functionality. 4. A $50 partially freestanding loft bed. Does an extra 200 cubic feet of usable space make your life more manageable? Build a partially freestanding loft bed in a few hours. Start by building the frame with 2x6s and 2x3s and attach strips of wood on the wall to rest the frame on. Hoist the frame onto these ledges and screw into the wall, then add a mattress and ladder. You can also add final enhancements like a draw curtain system or a shelf. 3. A Space-Themed Murphy Bed The plan includes building a queen-sized plywood bed with 4-inch walls stacked on a sled made of 4 sheets of half-inch plywood, using a CNC panel router for accuracy. After sanding and painting the parts with oil-based primer and alkalid paint, translucent acrylic was cut using a laser cutter, and 12-volt RGB light strips were wired to two Wi-Fi controllers and a project box mounted to the sled, with staples used to hold the strips in place. 2. A Curvy Floating Shelf Idea Get birch veneer, wood-backed, and glue it up with a vacuum bag setup and tight bond cold press glue. The vacuum helped to apply around 4,000 pounds of pressure to the layers, creating a strong shape. Later, buff on paste wax with a scrubby pad and hang it on the wall. Use 2-inch wide strips of the same material or metal brackets to create strong and delicate shelf brackets. Experiment with half clamshells for a seamless, thicker appearance and add structural support to avoid sagging. Lastly, number one, Laura Camp's DIY Sofa and Bed. With its sleek and modern design, the project is functional and truly unique as it can transform into a bed in just six seconds. The flexible panel joint and ratchet strapping hinge make it easy to fold out, while the sturdy construction ensures it's both comfortable and durable. FYI, this type of couch bed was quite trendy in Sweden from the 1960s to the 1980s. In Swedish, it's known as a bad sofa, 